this is one of the parts uh, of my filament extruder and uh, this one detects the tension of the filament it's uh, it's for the winding because I mean I will have an extruder and a puller next to it but after the pour I want to have a constant uh, constant pre uh, tension of the filament just because I want to wind it evenly and perfectly and I've seen many people use uh, to wind the filament uh, use a DC motor and a rubber band or something rubber and high friction and put it on the uh, put it on this pool but uh, the rubber always wears out and uh, I don't like this setup so I told myself I would just uh, wind it on the filament spool with a stepper motor or just a controlled motor and to do that I have to detect how tensioned is the filament and this is the thing that will do the job uh, I got two pretty printed bearings here uh, I used uh, for 4.5 uh, they are actually 4.3 millimeter balls uh, they are to the, for the BB gun uh, these are on my Thingiverse channel uh, thing yeah I guess it's called channel Thingiverse profile one of my uh, Thingiverse designs I also designed one for 3 millimeter balls but uh, they are not as easy to get as these 4.5 millimeter BB, BB balls uh, there's a stand simple as that you got screws from the bottom and uh, the stand is like that so you can adjust the height so you can use like 100 millimeters uh, M3 rods and you can extend it to what height you actually want uh, this is M5 screw and it perfectly holds the spring that is 5 millimeters in diameter and 15 millimeters in height uh, so it can bend like that uh, with this M5 screw and two nuts uh, on either side of the printed part you can adjust the height of the spring and also if you want it to be more more tensioned you can uh, screw the spring onto the M5 uh, screw a little bit more uh, then you have the potentiometer which is 10k1 but it doesn't really matter uh, what potentiometer you get uh, you just wire it with two pins I haven't wired it yet and I haven't tested it yet with Arduino but I think it will work just fine uh, on the bottom there there is a hole for the spring on either side so you can flip it or do it whatever you want with it uh, and it just snaps like that Uh, for the bearings, yeah, I forgot to tell that I also added a U groove in that uh, that is 2.1 or 2 millimeters in diameter I mean the groove so the filament should, uh, should find, in, find its way inside and shouldn't slip from the groove uh, from the bearings and uh, the whole thing is made up of three components that is the stand uh, which will be attached to the uh, to the wooden to the wooden plate that will hold the entire extruder uh, with three uh, with three screws that uh, are 2.5 millimeters in diameter and 12 millimeters uh, height uh, 12 millimeters long. Uh, then there's a middle part. Uh, these M3 rods are attached to it. Uh, it's just there. Uh, you don't need any nuts there, uh, since there are two rods and the uh, fitting is really nice. So you just screw it in place uh, as the height you want, and uh, that's all you have to do. And then um, yeah, fasten the uh, screw to the bottom part. There's the uh, M5 screw on this and the potentiometer. Uh, just attaches to the middle part with a nut simple as that and then there's the top part uh, which has these uh, holes for the screw uh, for the springs and uh, on either side there's a hole for the M for an M5 screw uh, you probably want to use a washer 
and a nut. I used a nylon nut just because I don't have any other right now, so uh, you don't have to use a nylon nut. It's just up to you. It's just to hold the bearing. Uh, this is extra sloppy one. Uh, I don't think I published an extra sloppy one. For the 5, 4.5mm balls I published a, a tight one, a normal and a sloppy. But it's, this is extra sloppy, so you can see that it spins very freely. Let's try the other one. And that's the whole idea. And I'll show you the video how it should work uh, with the filament. That's all for now. I think this was a really long video for just <laughs> this small part, but I'll try to keep it short next time. See you later.